everyone. Welcome back to the second in our series of four. This is our winter club. This is our bag. Sharon did some really pretty little labels for us. Um, and in your bag, you're going to get a sample of the Hot Fix Fusible Web. This is a really nice product. And I included the instructions on how to use it. Oh, so, nice. <laughs> so that's, you know, a really good thing. Yeah. Um, and there is also this little gift book notepad for you. These are really nice. Sharon and I both carry one in our purse. Uh, you can actually use them as gift items for your favorite quilter, relative, teacher. This is the book we will be using this time. It's very, very nice book. For one, once again, we've added fat quarters for you. Uh, this time we actually, I picked the fat quarters with a purpose in mind. We've included with your three fat quarters, two 10 inch squares of all cotton batting. Now this is Quilter's Dream Batting. It has no scrim. It's 100% cotton. So you can use it in the microwave. We just wanted to make sure that if you have scrap batting laying around, it may have scrim on it. It may not be all cotton. So make sure you use for your microwave bowls, all cotton. Uh, in the book, on the back actually, I don't know if you can see that really good, there's three microwave bowls. You'll be able to probably make the big one, and then if you have extra batting, you'll be able to do more with your fat quarters. I had not yet made one for myself, and I saw how easy these were, and I thought, you're going to love doing this. And it's a great project to use with kids and grandkids, too, who are learning to sew. Simple, super simple. Uh, you'll also get a little pack of cocoa for those cold mornings when uh, you want to turn in and watch us, you know, before everybody in your household gets up, maybe. Uh, again, the price of the club is $30. Okay, and Sharon's here. She's going to tell you a little bit about what... Don't forget the discount. Oh, don't forget the discount. Of course, the most important thing. <laughs> we changed the discount this time just a little bit. Um, we last time it was only going to be on the product that you were using that related to the club well we decided that what we'd really like to do for this this time is to give you 15 percent off store-wide excluding sale merchandise and the AccuQuilt supplies or actually just the machines you can get 15 percent off your dies if you aren't already in our AccuQuilt club so again if there's things that you've been waiting to get kits batting backing you have 15 percent off store-wide and that is good until december 23rd okay that's very nice okay sharon so i'm very happy to be back um apparently i did okay the first time so renee said okay we'll try you one more time <laughs> so uh we picked out the projects together uh, we did four of them out of the book and uh we're gonna change up the format. Thank you, Janet Rose, for giving us your input. Uh, so we're going to hopefully make it a better learning experience for you. Uh, fun for us, because it, it, it has been fun. So uh, the first thing that I want you to know is these are the fabrics that we chose for the projects. However, if you've ever been to Renee's, you know that she has more than four bolts of fabric. So I suggested that she Pull some and uh, that pile she's going to show you how pretty those are that you could use and then oh, uh, fabric's heavy and then I'm going to show you these four uh, two of which I used and then there's a couple other coordinates that you could use also to do these projects uh, we're back just had a little uh, yeah, hammer, hammer crash Okay, so let me go over the projects briefly. So the uh, first thing, this is a ironing board uh, organizer, I guess would be a good name for it. It drapes over the end of your ironing board. There's a pocket on this side, pocket. There's a pocket on this side and I divided it so it'll hold scissors and something else. And um, I like to have my pattern at the ironing board so that if I have to fuse uh, stabilizer to pieces I know which piece to fuse it to because once you've done it it's like forever it has this cute little uh, pin cushion that you can take to your sewing machine or leave it on here so that's project number one number two is I did 
I did jars again because I just think they're so cute. And um, Renee's been to my sewing room and she knows I have five or six of these with things in them uh, by color, of course. I've got them all coordinated. So that's another little thing. And it has a covered button, which I'll show you how to do. This is really nice for the hand sewer or for uh, somebody that does embroidery. Um, it's just a little pin cushion. You can, uh, it has a pocket so you can put your scissors in there. You could put a pack of needles in there. Um, you can obviously put your pins in there. You can put floss. So that is a nice thing. And this is the, the little jar that I used again from Dollar General. Generally nothing's a dollar, remember? The other thing is this, it's a uh, cover for a sewing machine. So I will show you, and it tells you in the book, how to measure it to fit your sewing machine. This happens to fit the smaller Bernina. It doesn't fit my bigger Bernina, but I, my bigger Bernina has a, see, this supply list. And on it, it tells you uh, what you need to start your projects. Uh, obviously, you need the book and uh, the fabric. But the other things that I go over are... Uh, tools that I've used. Um, the things that you absolutely have to have is um, a rotary cutter. Obviously, you need one with a sharp blade. That always helps. You need a good ruler. Um, I love creative grids, and the reason that I use these and sold them at our store is because they don't slip. So, especially when you're older and you're trying to hold on to a ruler and it's leaving town on you, it's really nice to have one that doesn't slip. And Renee has this cute little holder. I don't know if you've seen these, but they will hold your rulers, they'll hold your marking pens, they'll hold your thing of cocoa, whatever you want. Those you must have. You must have a mat, a rotary cutter, and a ruler. So make sure your rotary cutter is sharp and that your ruler is not all nicked up. The other thing that is very helpful is if you notice um, on this jar, those letters aren't very big. So you need to cut them out. And if you have small scissors rather than giant scissors, it'll make your life a lot easier. These are uh, Karen K. Buckley Perfect Scissors. And she's pretty close to having perfect scissors, but be sure you don't lose that point cover. You'll stab yourself. Um, the other thing that I use is glue. Um, and there's a joke about my holding down bindings with glue and then forgetting to sew them and giving the project away to somebody and they want to know what they did because the binding is coming off. So I just tell them they treated the quilt a little too roughly. <laughs> Give it back and I'll fix it. That's what I tell them. So anyways, this is a glue stick. This works really good for lots of things, for applique and for turned applique, I should say. And I also used it to hold down this little tiny Brick rack, no pins. So you glue it and then you stitch it and then you don't say batty words while you're sewing it. Um, the other thing is I really recommend a point turner. It always makes me cringe when I see somebody say, oh, I'll just use a knitting needle or a chopstick or oh, just take a pin and pull it out. Oh, geez. <laughs> okay. Another interruption we'll have to edit. Anyways, so there's point turners. They last a lifetime unless you lose them or... Uh, oh, mine. Um, get rid of that. The other thing that was very helpful, and I'm not a gadget person, but Renee said, here, you have to try this. This is from Precision Piecing. Um, Acorn Precision Piecing. And it's a product that you spray on. Now, I will be truthful. When I uh, spray my fabric initially, I just use starch. I use Niagara spray starch, the heaviest I can get. I save this for the end product. So after this little thing all done and I want it to be uh, picture perfect, then I spray it lightly with this. And it just seems to settle it all down and uh, 
has it hold the shape and it just gives it a professional finish. For these little, they're two and a half inch squares and guess what? A candy thing from uh, Moda or, yeah, they're two and a half inch squares pre-cut. So that's what I use because you need like 16 or 19 of them here. So I do have a few left over, but she doesn't know that, so I'll just keep them. <laughs> um, so here's what I used to go around here. I, I chose ones in here that matched uh, the colors in the um, sewing machine cover. So I think... And welcome back. It's been a lot of fun the last couple of weeks, months, videoing for you. Um, I love to be behind the camera instead of front of the camera, so that's <laughs> been kind of fun for me. And Sharon is a delight to work with. She's so knowledgeable. So please uh, stay tuned, and we will proceed with our cloth. Thank you. Mm -hmm.